What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. There's no denying that Dwayne Wade, despite any recent developments that have us looking at him a little differently, uh, he is definitely one of the all-time great players, and is generally considered one of the top five shooting guards of all time. All right. But recently on a podcast, Dwayne Wade said that he felt that if it were not for injuries, he would have surpassed Michael Jordan as the greatest basketball player of all time. He said this on the 7 p.m. in Brooklyn podcast with Carmelo Anthony. He said, quote, about fans or experts or people, quote, they don't understand my game. You don't know what I did. I did so many different things. I played so many different roles. That's one of the reasons why I'm not the greatest shooter of all time, but I was great at so many different things. Mello talked about it. Then I learned how to be great at being a role player. I learned how to be great at all these things, and no one knows how to really break down my game. They look over it and go to one or two things, but I did so many things. When I had it, I had it. I thought I was going to be before the injuries. I'm like, MJ, I'm coming for you. That was my mentality. I thought I was coming for MJ. I thought I'm going to be the greatest because I figured out very early in the league, and in my second year, I knew. Um. Look, there's no doubt about it that at one point in time, Dwayne Wade was that dude. When he was Flash, he was that dude, okay? Um, you know, what he did in his third season, leading the Miami Heat to an NBA championship, that was very impressive, you know what I'm saying? Although you could argue, yeah, the free throws were – you know, it was they were ridiculous. But him actually watching that finals, seeing Miami uh, come back from what was really a, what was a quarter and a half away from being down 0-3 and Wade just taking over, uh, flipping that switch and taking over that series. I think, if I'm not mistaken, after the first two games of that series, Wade averaged over 40 points per game. The last four games of that series, I'm not mistaken. Um, or about 40 points per game. But anyway, yeah, Wade was phenomenal, man. I mean, the guy, uh, before the injuries, he was a, a very good defensive, if not great defensive player, one of the great shot-blocking guards, arguably the greatest block, shot-blocking guard of all time, underrated facilitator. Uh, he could drive the basket, had the mid-range game, um, was, a, was a very, very good rebounder in his position. I know he's talking about all, uh, uh, you know, being a leader, vocal leader out there. All around, he is, and you know, he was a great basketball player. Uh, but, bro, I don't think you're better than Kobe. Let alone Michael Jordan. I mean, if you were that great, you were never considered the best player in the NBA. I think your peak was like 2008, 2009. That's pretty much your peak. Um, and even then, you still weren't better than Kobe Bryant by most most observers. So you're talking about coming for Mike. You weren't even coming for Kobe. Hell, I, I, I now reassess. You know, I used to have him ahead of Jerry West. Nah. You're not better than Jerry West. Because let's not forget, man, uh, Wade played with some talent too now. I mean, Wade played with some great players. Wade played with Shaquille O'Neal. Wade played with, although he was older, I'm still going to include him, Gary Payton. He played with Antoine Walker. He played with Alonzo Mourning. He played with Jason Williams. And, of course, he played with LeBron Ramon James at the absolute peak of his career. 
you played with Chris Bosch in the peak of his career, even though he had to alter his game to fill in that team. You know what I'm saying? Later on, you played with Rajon Rondo. Matter of fact, you played with LeBron James twice. And, and there's some other great players he played. I just can't think off the top of my head. Um, I, I don't know about that, man. Look, I mean, you never won an MVP award. Michael won five. Um, matter of fact, let's look at let's look at Dwayne Wade's. Let's look at his resume. You won three championships, but two of them came on a super team. And one of them, you had Shaq close to his prime in Miami. The best center Michael Jordan ever had was probably Bill Cartwright in Chicago. Let's see. Three-time NBA champion, two on a super team, Michael Jordan won six. One finals MVP, Jordan had six. 13-time NBA All-Star. I think Jordan was an All-Star 15 times. And and I don't think Mike played as long as you did all together. NBA All-Star game MVP. Jordan did that three times. Two times All-NBA first team. Mike was all first, what, 15 times, 14 times, 13 times, something like that. Three times All-NBA second team. I don't think Jordan was ever second team or third team. Three times NBA All-Defensive second team. Jordan was nine times All-Defensive first team. Uh, It would have been more had he not retired. He won a scoring title. Jordan won 10. NBA All-Rookie first team. Jordan was not only on the All-NBA first rookie team, but he was rookie of the year. 75th anniversary team. Jordan was legit top 50. Your number three is retired by the Miami Heat. Jordan's number is retired by two different organizations, the Bulls and the Heat. Ironically, the team that you are the consensus best player on, Jordan's numbers retired by the guy that built that dynasty because of the respect he had for Michael Jordan. Um, 22 points a game in your career, Jordan 30.1. 4.7 rebounds, Jordan averaged over six in his career. He got Mike an assist by a little bit as far as uh, average and the total, so there's that. Jordan averaged more steals. Jordan led the league in steals three times. You never did. Um You want Olympic gold in Beijing. Jordan has two Olympic gold medals. Uh, it's not particularly close, bro. Oh, man, I, I know what you're saying. Well, if I didn't get hurt, if I didn't get hurt, if I didn't get hurt, well, there's a lot of ifs. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of ifs. I think if Mark McGuire never got hurt, he'd be the all-time home run leader. But that's a big-ass if. Um. When it comes to the go conversation, Dwayne Wade's name never comes up. It's never you're not a top ten all time player. Um, you're not a top fifteen all time player, top twenty. Um, at one point in time, I thought maybe you're a top twenty five player, maybe you're top thirty. Um, nah. Now he was, and that in your prime, you were that dude. You were great, but you were never, in my opinion, any season you played the best player in the NBA. Michael Jordan was probably the best player in the NBA from 1987 to 93, and then from 95 to 98. And even when he came back with the Wizards, when healthy, people forget this. Everybody keeps talking about how bad he was with the Wizards. But I distinctly remember before he got hurt that first season, was that, that knee injury that, that uh, limited him to 60 games. I distinctly remember Jordan being an MVP caliber candidate with the Wizards. But that's what the media don't want to put out there. They, they do a lot of misinformation, probably a lot of information. And Jordan wasn't even in the prime of his career, nowhere near the prime of his career. When you lost your prime, you instantly became a role player, and you willingly became a role player to the Wayne, uh, excuse me, to LeBron James. Now it was admirable that you did that, but in order to win, you became a role player. Now a lot of players became role players, and that, that's nothing wrong with that. Carmelo became a role player, but I mean, as far as you being a man. 
you won one title with you being a man. You won two titles being either a supporting player or a role player. Jordan won six as the man. And two of those titles, he didn't even he didn't have another all-star. So no, you 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 I like Wade, man. Well, as a player, you know, I ain't talking about all the other stuff that we can get into, but uh nah, this is laughable. I like the confidence though, but it's laughable. 